Hello, everyone. My name is Jay Sable. I'm the executive director of the One Community Nonprofit Organization, 501c3 Nonprofit Organization, and this is video blog number two. Uh, the response to the first video blog was very positive, and so I'm committing to doing one of these a week, if at all possible, to continue to share the ongoing progress and uh, weekly advancement of One Community as we work towards moving onto the property and and actually building the first teacher demonstration village which will eventually grow into seven different sustainable village models sharing and free sharing and open source teaching everything from sustainable food infrastructure sustainable energy infrastructure seven different sustainable housing methods an education model a recreation model and actually provide a place a single place where somebody can come and see all of these things in one place and then take the blueprints and the information that we'll be able to provide and go and build it yourself and duplicate it either as complete city village teacher demonstration models just like ours running the same business model to help people get out of financial debt and establish themselves as, as uh, self-sufficient sovereign entities or uh, as components somebody who might just want to build sustainable food infrastructure in their backyard or maybe a sustainable guest house or maybe run a homeschooling program using our open source and free uh, education blueprints all this stuff this is what our organization is all about is teaching and developing um, open source free shared launch point blueprints to teach other people how to launch their own projects or to be a, a central point for people to share their open source content and information as we continue to build out our archive and create everything that anybody would need anywhere in the world that has an internet uh, connection and ultimately that doesn't because you could print this information out share it anywhere so really to provide what anyone needs anywhere in the world to create self-sufficiency and to create sustainability or just to add a component of sustainability into your life and so this is what's going on uh, with us this week. This is what's happening last week. Let's see. Uh, last week, the team put in probably about 30, 40 hours on the education program. We launched our education program two weeks ago. We've been working on it for two years. And um, now, yeah, about a year and a half. And so we finally started putting that information out into the public where people can access it. Uh, the first page that we put out last week was the Montessori method page so if you want to go to our if you go to our website or if you look at the description down below if you're watching this on YouTube uh, if you click on the description you'll see a link to the Montessori page and uh, what that is is it's an overview of the Montessori method and how we've divided it into the categories of the Education for Life program that we are developing in one community and what the Education for Life program is specifically is curriculum for life covering everything from knowledge the traditional study subjects like social studies and science and math and reading and English that kind of stuff to the more subjective or uh, more I don't know values based maybe I would say uh, subjects like honesty and integrity and love and connection and um, social skills public speaking skills that kind of stuff and so that's the curriculum for life component and we've also got the first of that component done as well we finished that last week which is the love and connection component so if you want to look at that uh, that page is pretty amazing it's it's love and connection to self first it's broken into two sections and then love and connection to all other things and um, it's open for comments and suggestions on every page of the education program and we're adding this to pretty much every page every page of the open source uh, project is going to have this but right now we've really developed it out on the education program because we've spent a lot of time on that if you have any comments or suggestions or things that you would like to add man that is really helpful to us because we want to make this as amazing as possible and the whole thing is is free for the public to use in whatever way you want so if you're somebody watching this and and you go to our website and there's anything there that is useful or interesting or you want to use uh, everything that we're creating is open source and free shared. That's the purpose of our organization. It's the creation of open source and free shared blueprints. And more specifically, uh, open source and free sharing launch point blueprinting is what we do. And what does launch point blueprinting mean? It means that we are not just open source and free sharing information 
Our goal is to make it as easy as possible for people to take that information and use it to launch other projects, to launch their own version of an education program, to launch their own version of a sustainable community or village or city, to launch their own version of an aquaponics system. And so our goal is not just to put the information out there and say, hey, you can have this. Our goal is to create tools and tutorials and resources with the specific intent of it being usable by people with just normal average knowledge, not professionals in the industry, but actually to take a lot of these professional skills and make them easier for people that might not be a teacher, or might not be an architect, or might not be an engineer to be able to access usable information. And then if you start to work with a team or you bring together a team or you have one of these people on your team that has this skill, they can really tap into that and to take it and evolve it to the next level. And our ultimate success uh, would be that if, if somebody who didn't know anything about sustainability could, or anything about education could access the information on our website and through study and taking the time and just using the information that we're providing and the resources that we can connect people to as well as far as information resources and things like that, the two tools and tutorials to take all that information and be able to launch your own project, possibly something completely different or to duplicate everything that is one community as a complete, sustainable teacher demonstration, village, city, or community, just like we're setting up one community, which is our ultimate goal. You know, everything that we're doing on a week-to-week -week basis is progress towards us actually moving onto the property and building everything, building everything that we're talking about, building all the stuff that we're designing so that we can then take this whole production process to the next level of demonstration. And then we can do video tutorials and that kind of stuff as we're building and as every pro problem that we work out, we will continue to apply the exact same process that we're using right now, which is design, develop, fine tune, put it out as open source content on the website, accept feedback, and then continue to refine that. And the next step for us, of course, is to get out there and actually start being able to build this stuff, to build the earth bag homes, to build the aquaponics, and then problem solve through all that and teach the fine details that will go with that. So. Anyway, uh, so the things that we worked on this week, was, uh, along with all the education stuff that I just mentioned that we're, we're developing as part of that, rather, we've um, created all the pages now have been created for the key components, so curriculum for life, teaching tools for life, strategies uh, for life, as well as the ultimate classroom, and then all that stuff is going to be used to create the lesson plans for life, and we've created all the pages for that, the basic pages for that. And then we've created all the individual pages for the curriculum for life as well, which is each of those components. So we'll, uh, we finished the love and connection component. And if you click on the description, you'll, you'll have a link to that, um, that you can see, take a look at that. We've completed the Montessori analysis and detailed breakdown and division, dividing it into all these different components. What does Montessori have that has inspired ideas? for us and then we're now taking that information and we're propagating it across all the other websites that we've created and then we've created uh, the other pages I've now got the images and everything are up for all the other pages of the curriculum component so there's a lot that's happened in the education and this week we're gonna finish the or the or we've already done the research and we're ready to put it up on the website you've just gotta take the time to do it which is the ORF uh, show work method, which is amazing. We've done the research on that. The Waldorf method, also an amazing teaching uh, methodology. We're going to take all the information for that. And we've got the honesty and integrity component as well done now for the curriculum, as well as 90%. It'll be finished this week, as well as the interconnectedness component for the education curriculum. So there's a lot of stuff that's going to be coming out this week and um, if you're interested in that subscribe to our one community fans update page or one community fan page on Facebook which is one community updates facebook.com forward slash one community updates and you'll get those details or check out our blog go to our blog and the link to that is also right here I'll do a, a detailed um, breakdown of what I'm talking about in this video on our blog and then I do a couple blogs a week as well to share this stuff so let's see other stuff that we've done this week Sago Center City Hub which is meant to be a, a duplicable city center um, for for building out the seven sustainable village models that we're developing will be able to be built around the Sago Center City Hub updates on that 
Our, uh, this week we moved the library off to the side so they'll have a view of the regeneration zone and we've started putting that, Carl Harris has started putting that into CAD. Um, we moved the bathrooms, we took the bathrooms out of the individual rooms and we put those in the center of the living dome of that and there's all these details if you if you google Sago Center City Hub you can see all these images and stuff or click on the link and you can see the pictures actually I'm not going to post a picture yet we've got some more CAD work to do so this week we'll finish up the CAD work I think on that and then we can get that to P2S Engineering who is doing the HVAC systems and mechanical electrical plumbing uh, recommendations for us what's the best paint to use what's the best um, carpet to use, you know, as much as many recycled materials as possible, as eco-friendly as possible, so that we can achieve LEED Platinum certification when we build this building. So major advancements on that one have been moving the library to the side, moving the bathrooms and the living uh, hub to the center, which is going to save us a lot of money on plumbing, and it's way more sustainable, creating like a shared bathroom situation there as opposed to individual bathrooms for the VIP rooms in that. And then we've shaved off the top of that dome as well and created a sunrise patio. And so all those, I'd say about 50% of those details are now in CAD. And so once it's done in CAD, then we can start doing 3D renderings and we're working towards building plans that we hope to have done hopefully within the next couple months. That's what we're shooting for on that. Uh, the other big one that we put a lot of time into this last week was what was previously called the tropical dome. And just for fun, just so you can see, on the uh, on the website, I put these up as images that you can click on and expand. And so I thought it would just be fun to show you what they look like before they get put on the website. This is the work of Doug Stenhouse showing the tropical dome. And uh, here's a little sun study <laughs> there. And so I'm going to put those up on the website. I'll actually put up the, prog the progression on that. I haven't had time to blog on it, and so much has happened in the last week that we've got several different drawings that came out. I'd love to post those as just showing the brainstorming that happened and how that whole thing evolved just in the last week. And so, and I've got a, a huge page of details on on this because what we're what we've decided to do with that is we decided to build it so that it can be it can essentially be taken apart um, with our open source goals being maximum duplicability and this environment that I just showed you being a tropical environment um, there's a lot of variables that we just can't predict you know we put tons this is another one we put a couple of years of research into this and how to do it and what we've realized is is every environment is going to be a little bit different and there's three primary things that 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 you just can't predict because the environments are so different because nobody's built what we're trying to build um, and those three components are heat cool too much heat too little heat so too much cold in the winter that could kill things off or create major problems and then humidity and so because of recognizing all those factors are those variables really can't be completely predicted what we're doing is we've come up with five or six different solutions for each one five or six solutions for heating five or six solutions if it's too cold five or six solutions for if it's too humid or not humid enough and then we're building the whole thing with open source uh, options and and a, the ability to change it so we'll frame it we're framing it for windows that can be added even though we're doing our best educated guess on whether or not we actually need to do that we're framing it so that we can add additional venting if we need to um, we're building it so that we can take it apart if we want to change out the roof or add in insulation we'll be able to do all of that and so the tropical dome which you just saw and you can click on the blog post or go to the website we're going to build out a whole infrastructure for each piece of this as we do it so it's like hey here's how you do this aspect and here are all the solutions for humidity and then when we actually start building it as we problem solve through that and we do temperature measurements and do an on we'll do an ongoing study on this to demonstrate exactly how different tweaks that we make to the design affect the different elements so that we can share that and then as other people design similar s similar structures based on the free blueprints and building plans that we'll be putting out then we can gather that data and add it into one database and create something that's a really really cool um, beautiful food production structure that is also a recreational facility and so uh, the details I'll put in the blog post but the overview is is that it will produce it will have trees in there you know 20 30 foot tall trees within this structure 
as well as a space to host classes. So you could do yoga or meditation classes in there. And there's space for 20 or 30 people that we've designed to sit down in this conditioned space surrounded by all these beautiful trees and fruit and food. And, um, and it's going to be really something beautiful, something really special. And so that was the other major thing that we put a lot of time into. Um, and then the last one, which should be coming out this week, is we should be putting out a blog post on our back office. We've been beta testing for the last, God, I guess it's probably been a couple months now, our time tracking tool. And we have a time tracking tool that we use. It used to be a Google Doc and a spreadsheet where we are keeping track of how much time we're putting into different things and, and contribution to one community and making this whole thing happen. And we're averaging a couple hundred hours. You know, uh, some, some weeks, I mean, we're getting, we, we put in, you know, there's hundreds of hours that are going into this project and uh, on a weekly basis. And so we've been tracking that time. And one of our team members has built an application for tracking that pro time and running reports as well. And so hopefully we'll be able to put out a blog post on that. It's another open source app. It's just not to the point where it would really be super useful to other people. We're building out so much functionality that we're holding off on, on putting it out there because I don't see anybody really requesting or needing that, benefiting from that as much as, say, the education program in those aspects. And so, um, but we should put out a blog post kind of sharing what that's all about and where we're at with that. Ultimately, what that will be able to do in the long term is this app application will allow us to connect to other villages, communities, and sustainable cities using the one community model to duplicate and create self-sufficiency and teacher demonstration villages that will then spread sustainability to surrounding communities by providing sustainable resources. The, the application is you, will be used to connect all of those communities and gather objective data on exactly how much time it took to build pod one or pod two or sustainable food infrastructure. And at first, we're going to use it just for us. So we'll be able to objectively say it cost this much to build this. It took this many hours because each individual has been tracking their time and keeping track of it. So we can give you a, a number on how long it took us to build it with these resources. So other people can say, hey, if I want to do this, this is what I'm getting into. If I were going to duplicate exactly this village model with this energy infrastructure and this sustainable food infrastructure, here's a pretty good idea of how long it would take. And then as other people take that and duplicate it, they'll be able to feed that information into our database and we can create more and more of uh, more objective data and gather more information that we can share. So that app's really coming along. It's We've been using it now for a couple months, more than a couple months, and it is really something that's really quite a quite a progression over what we had before, and we're continuing to build this out so that it'll be a more and more effective strategy. Also, it'll be used to, able to be used for those who want to, to track and um, the fulfilled lifestyle practices. Like what what is the advantage of living within the environment that we're creating as far as personal enrichment, time with family, and um, really feeding our souls and really um, celebrating life in those ways. And, uh, and so we'll be able to keep track of that as well and say, hey, you know, in this environment, this is how much time somebody took learning music and, um, play and, uh, and being a part of their education for their children and um, taking an art class and doing yoga classes or meditation classes. And, and learning how to build sustainable infrastructure or whatever. And the, we could actually put a, an objective number value on that if you were living in the traditional environment and you were to pay for those classes. Versus in a one community environment, you would just walk to those classes, they're right there, everything is free. And this is the whole social ar architecture aspect of it that's you know, it's 15 years into development to get us to where we are right now um, to demonstrate a fulfilled way of living that, that we believe is actually really superior or will be demonstrated as truly superior in its ability to meet people's deeper needs and uh, desires as far as what makes us happy. More time with friends, more time with family, higher quality food, higher quality water, clean air, um, a, a really beautiful environment, and then a constant environment of personal growth, development, and global contribution to solution-based thinking and creating creating usable 
tools and tutorials and uh, demonstrations of what's possible. And so that's it. 20 minute blog. Man, I tell myself I always want to try and do these things in 10 minutes. Hopefully they'll get shorter. So um, that's what's going on with One Community in the last week. Follow us, please. Uh, if you like this, if you like us doing these video blogs, you know, it's kind of a pat on the back. If you hit the like button, um, that, that feels good to us. It feels good to me. And uh, follow us on our blog. Please follow us on our Facebook updates page, uh, facebook.com forward slash One Community Updates. Our websites are sustainabilitynonprofit.org, onecommunityranch.org, ethosolutions.org, and peoplesagenda21.org, which is going to be an open source um, archive of, of individual and local level uh, open source actionable items. So tools, tutorials, resources, that kind of stuff, modeled after the 40 chapters of Agenda 21. So those are our four websites. Check us out. Follow us. Check us out. We also have a, an inspirational page, One Community Fans, on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash One Community Fans. And I think that's all I have to report. So as always, thank you for following our project. If there's any aspect of it that you'd like to contribute to or get involved with, you know, we're always building our pioneer team, the core team of individuals that's actually going to move on to the property with us and build all this stuff. And One Community is happening right now. You know, we're organizing virtually as a group, and but we're getting a lot of stuff done. And so if you're somebody who would like to participate in that as a partner, as a consultant, or just as with contributing ideas, things like the education program now have a suggestion page on there where you can just click on it and say and paste in the page that you'd like to add to and say, hey, I'd like I have a suggestion that I'd like to add to this page, and this is my suggestion. You can just send it to us. Or you can now access our entire back office where the pieces that we're working on right now, you might even see a pioneer on there, you know, working away and adding notes and doing the work that we're doing. And in that, right, if you log on, uh, you can just log on and take a look and you can use the comments function right there on the toolbar across those pages. And you can make comments on specific aspects of what it is that we're doing. So this is World Change, the one community way. I hope everybody's having a beautiful day and thank you for following our project. Thank you for taking 20 25 minutes of your time to uh, check out what it is that we're up to and um, yeah have a beautiful day thanks again talk to you in a week <laughs>